All right, so today we got the fourth and uh, final tree that we're gonna buck here. Um, as you remember, these are the cedar trees that fell during the last uh, snowstorm. I think my first course of action is to clear off as many of these limbs as I possibly can because when the tree will come down off the root ball, having any kind of limbs like that will kind of create unpredictability. And ultimately, I just really want this thing to fall and get on the ground as fast as possible. Um, as you can see, because of the severe lean on this, obviously a lot of tension along the top and a lot of compression on the bottom. Um, I'm afraid that, you know, the trunk is probably gonna snap if I just try to do a conventional cut, but I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that um, once I get there. But I think for starters, I'm just gonna get all these uh, limbs off. All the trees knocked down <laughs> and no serious injury let's take a look at what we got and this is what we have left this used to be wall to wall cedar trees that would block to our next property next door but you can see they're all gone here's one root ball and then there's the second root ball third one and the fourth one we got quite the brush pile here built up I don't know, that's probably about five and a half feet tall. And then we got another one over here, and then there's one behind it. So come sometime in the summer, maybe in the fall, I'll have to burn these. So what did I learn through all this? Well, I learned you got to be very careful with the way you manage your uh, chainsaw. Um, if you're not careful, you can knock the chain off, and if you're not paying attention, you can ruin your chain when you do that. And I also learned when you're, uh, when you're replacing the chain on a chainsaw to make sure your uh, brake chain, or excuse me, your chain brake is disengaged when you pull the clutch cover off. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the clutch cover back on. Then you have to use a wrench to kind of pry it open in order to get it back on. Um, also, I think I got pretty good at sharpening the chain. I did each time I used it today and I mean through the whole ordeal. So all in all, I think it's very successful. I uh, steered clear of any serious injuries, um, which is very good. Um, I don't even know if I had any curse words thrown out there. But all in all, I'll take it. <laughs>